the Rob here doing a response and a review. The overly attached girl at it again. Now she's overly attached to a computer. There are many people under the sound of my voice that are overly attached to their computers all over the globe. In fact, it's basically dominating their life. I mean, if you don't believe it, try going without going on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, YouTube for 24 hours. See how many of you can make it out there. And I don't want to be too hard at anybody, but the only thing or person we should be overly attached to, to me, is the creator of the universe, my friends. His name, if you haven't heard it by now, is God. Now, not everybody's into God, but God's into everybody. God loves everybody, but I found this out a while ago. Everybody doesn't love God, so whatever, man. If you love the Lord, if you believe God's real, if you believe there's a creation, hit the like button. Give me a comment. I'll take a poll via YouTube. Negative comments, whatever. It's all cool, man. No big deal. Friends, the Lord loves you. How do I get from the overly attached girl from the computer the whole gig? Well, I'm a minister of the gospel. If you decide to subscribe to my ministry channel via YouTube, go for it. Also on the Robwood one, the search. I have many of the ministry videos <clears throat> where I expound, talk about the Bible, Christianity, heaven, hell, angels, demons, etc. Friends, the Bible says have no other gods or idols or gods with a little g before God. And it's not like God has a big head and he only has to be the only thing in your life, but everything else has to revolve around him. He has to be in the center of your heart and our relationships, our vocation have to revolve around God. And I found the one, th one thing out about the Lord. He comes by invitation only. He'll never crash or knock or blow the door down to your heart. God's not a party crasher. The Lord didn't create robots. God gave you a free will, so he has to respect that free will. But once you open the door of your heart just to crack and invite him in, the Lord will come in with his great grace, mercy, compassion, kindness, most of all his unconditional love. And in the Bible, in the book of John, the third chapter, the 16th verse, simply states, For God so loved the world, that's me, that's you, that he gave as a gift his only son, that if you would believe and receive and accept Jesus, you would not perish, you'd have everlasting and eternal life in the Lord desires no one to perish under the sound of my voice, but he wants all to have the insurance that when we all take our last breath, we can and we will make heaven our home. And the only way we can have that is by having our lives surrendered and submitted to the Lordship of Christ, my friends. Desire to recite a simple prayer after me. Say, Jesus, thank you for dying on the cross for my sins. Thank you for being my Lord and Savior. If you prayed that prayer, God bless you in the comments section. Put, I prayed the prayer, I want to pray for you. I'll never be able to do it individually, but I can do it via New York, the United States, because there's no distance in prayer. Again, if you want to subscribe to my ministry channel, go for it. Hit the subscribe button on the Rob Wood one. Many of the ministry videos. Be blessed today.